Hello, hello, how are you? Welcome back to my channel, Entrepreneur Mommy. And today I wanted to do a follow-up on my video series about how to make money online. So if you have watched my video already, it's, um, I will put the link here. On that video, I talk about different ways that I have uh, been able to make money online and uh, working from home. It doesn't require a lot of effort. You do have to know a few things in order to uh, be able to start up with these uh, techniques. So today I'm going to talk about how you can start by promoting your products or services through a Facebook page. And you can do this, it's very easy, you, I will give you all the tips. Stay tuned and continue watching the video in order to create a Facebook page where you can promote your services or products. It can be any type of service or product, you just need to have the right words, the right images. So in this video, I will show you how to create your Facebook page step by step and also I will show you a few ways to promote your Facebook page according to the products or services that you are selling. Keep on watching! Three weeks ago, I talked to you about how to make money online and there were a few techniques and different things that I mentioned there. And one of the things that I did was to start the, like selling things online uh, through Facebook Marketplace and through other groups. So the second thing that I did and mentioned in that video is that I started to promote my own products through a Facebook page. So what I did was, first of all, create a Facebook page and then promote that Facebook page through some of the groups that I knew that were going to be interested in that product. The products that I chose at that time were cell phone accessories. At that time, the cell phone accessories were like a boom. So I was very into them and I knew how to find them on a cheaper price. And I knew that in my country, it was a little bit difficult to find them at that price. So I knew that in the malls, they would be more expensive. Okay, so I have entered to Facebook and I'm what you're going to do is to click on create on the top and it says page and then you will set business or brand and community or public peer. So you will create a business, you will select the business or brand and click on get started, then you will add your brand name. You need to have the page name. Um, let's create a page that is called Entrepreneur Mommy Test. And then you will create a category. You can, if you don't know what is it about, you can just hover on the um, question mark and then it will tell you what it is. So in this case, you will say shop. Shopping and retail. Do you have to add your address here? And then you will, if you don't want to show the address, you just say, don't show my address. You click on that and you click on continue. Okay, so here is the here are the few things that you really need to think about in Facebook. It's you need to really create a profile picture, and this is a picture that is gonna be appearing on the small picture of your page. Then you will upload if you want to you can skip it and upload it later and then you can upload a cover photo. So just as a tip, you can use Canva to create these or design these um, things. So you can say Facebook cover. If you select Facebook cover, this is the right size that you can add in here. 
okay? So you don't have to worry about the size or anything. You just need to worry about the design that you want to add. You can either choose any templates. Let's say you want to choose this. You, you, you can change only the what it says. And then you can uh, go uh, upload it here. At the moment, I'm going to skip these steps just to show you what else you will need. So once that you are here, I will suggest you to add here, of course, to update your profile picture to cover photo. And I will also suggest to fill out all what Facebook is suggesting to fill. So what I mean is to, to create the about page. Once that you create here, you will be editing the business details. This is all the information that you want to add about your business, the start date of the business, and then all, all of these things. You can enter an email, a website, and all of this. A menu even, for in case of the restaurant. And you can start adding uh, also products in this case. Set up your sub shop section. Once you agree with these terms, check out on, you can either select if they can message you to buy or, or redirect them to another website. We will say message to buy and you will set the, Canadian, the currency that you want to, to use and you save it and here you will be adding your products adding product photos name and the price of the product that you want to have okay so now i'm going to show you what i have created so far for cell depot in cell depot i created the page i gave it the profile and a cover picture and also you can add all the information i added the name the category of the store and also the email here this is the the about and the information also you can have the products here for example you can set up what button you want them to see when they say shop now so you can click on shop now and then they can either book with you contact you or shop with you or download, download your application every every you can set up the button here so if you said book now you can say book now in your button and so on and so forth according to what you choose here Facebook, what it does is to suggest some groups for the in, in related to the page. So here are some of the groups that Facebook is suggesting me to publish or talk about my page or that might be interested in my page. Also, you can promote your page by, by paying some ads. This all is just to promote your business. You can build a community here by inviting friends to like your page and share it with other friends. These are some of the photos that I uploaded of the products that I had available at that time. I honestly haven't updated this page for a long time now, but this is just an example just to let you know how I used to set it up. I got a lot of success with this with this page and they were mainly buying from me, but it was through a Facebook Messenger. So you want them to see that your products are of a good quality, that you're updating them with the new products uh, frequently. So Facebook is sending you updates and reminding you of what you need to do in order to get to be more successful with your business. You can invite friends, share the page, you can create a live video, you can set up an event, an event, make an offer or post a job in case that you want to recruit people to help you to manage it. So, buy and sell. 
like nearby in Halton. So I will be posting here. You you need to first to post in some of the group Facebook groups. You need to be aware of what are the um, rules of the groups. So in this case, it says any handmade, handmade or professional services post will be automatically deleted. Okay, no, don't post same item twice in one week. And do not post thousand pieces of clothing all in separate posts. Okay, so this is uh, the rules that they have. And uh, this group, you can see how many people, how many members. So this, this group has more than 10,000 members here. Okay, so, so your product or what you post here is, can have a lot of products. Once you make a post of a specific product in this case, will be, uh, you can redirect them to your page when they are like interested and um, for example let's say you have a product you, you uploaded a photo of a product and they will ask you they will say I'm interested okay so you will reply them back and they will say do you have any, any other pictures or any other um, product similar to this but for this other device you would say, say yes or no, or, and then you can take advantage of that question to refer them to your own page. So this is how you can sell things by creating your own page on Facebook. And there are some other ways that you can also sell your products or services online. So this is just using Facebook, but I will be also telling you how you can do it through Amazon or eBay in future videos. Just let me know if you're interested in those as well, please, on the comments below. If you want to know about other ways to make money online, just let me know in the comments below and let me know what will be like your services or product that you want to sell in order to help you to find uh, the ways that you can do it online. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Bye bye.